welcome back to our channel. I have been focusing a lot on our garden, trying to get everything spruced up and freshened up and trimmed and cleared out because I'm really looking forward to spring and enjoying what our environment has to offer. I promise I will get back to more interior related things. A lot of our huge projects are on hold because we've been focusing on our independent apartment, the studio that we'd like to rent out for guests. For people who would like to come and visit the um, south of France, the Haute Pyrenees. If you well, hello, buddy. You need to come down the other stairwell. You need to come down the other stairwell. These are too steep for you. Go the other side. Want me to show you? I think he has short-term memory. Just when I thought you were getting better. Go down this way. Ellie. Now I can go ahead and finish prepping the walls patching some of the areas and repainting. It's a really nice sized room. The reason why I'm motivated to do this is because we have another sofa coming, matching the other made sofa you just saw in the dining room. And what we'd like to do is lay one on each side of the room and making this the coffee table feature. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So you're probably wondering, what? Did you change this out to be the living room? No. I am tackling a new project today. If you remember, this has been painted over, and this week I've painted over this back wall here underneath the stairwell. I'll need to paint the walls in the other stairwell, but that's a project that's just going to have to wait in this in our temporary mud room. I made a few changes. I don't think I've actually showed this space to you yet. There are bathroom facilities there. Oh yeah, this is the stove we're currently waiting to use. So I've set up a little mini cleaning section along this back wall here and a temporary shoe selection and our vacuums and whatnot back in the corner there. So gonna go outside where are my they must be outside right okay grab my coffee oh back here sorry back here is the broiler room which I will leave for another time it's so nice and toasty in there that that's where we dry a lot of our clothes the delicates other than that I usually use the dryer yep there they are Need to get some better garden shoes. Oh no! Oh, little baby! This was blown over. Winds must have been brutal. So glad the pot didn't crack. Gave him some fertilizer the other day. And lemon tree is all the way there in the back. These are the plants we picked up from the garden center. We have rosemary, citrus thyme. It's a very velvety type of, um, what well, I keep saying it, basil. I keep saying it in French, what's the English word? Basil, basil, what sounds, it sounds funny. Oh, Harry's coming in nicely over here. And some chocolate mint and pineapple mint. This is absolutely amazing infused in my water. I love it so much. We have some yellow tulips growing in. Wisteria update. Oh, there's another little purple one. Hello. <laughs> I'm 
can't believe I'm saying hello to the flowers. <laughs> Some yellow tulips here. Or the two Antica pots we bought the other week are looking good. On its way to a full blooming season. So you see there, there's new green growth there. We noticed it more along our bedroom window. Let's see what's going on with the... So those are holding up well from the rain. It's good. This has such the cutest little bud. Let me see if we can focus that. Focus. Maybe not. But the leaves remind me of, of parsley leaves or carrot top leaves. These are the raniculas. These were 350, and I know why, because three of the larger buds were pretty much broken off. But I saw that they had these mini ones. Actually, this is new. And this little guy, oh no, it's not one. This one's new, so that's doing really well. In its new container, the broccoli, same radishes. Oh, that's not gonna happen. It feels really, really cold. It's actually it's icy. Oy, brr. Hmm. I think I might have to bring those in. And the moss. The moss is doing well, covering the cracks. Okay, let's bring in my little potter table. From the weather report this morning, it appears we're going to have some flurries today, uh, which is really surprising. But anyways, it, by the looks of the beautiful weather that's happening, it doesn't appear that way. But just in case, these are still getting some light. Can't believe that ice there. No changes to the atelier yet. We bought a couple of new tools and some new soil. Other than that, uh, just some knick-knacky stuff that I'd like to eventually sell. This basket was used to carry twigs for the fireplace, but I thought that that would make a cute trug for when I'm ready to pick my vegetables. Ooh, it is chilly. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Cow or sheep bell there. Ooh. When we saw this house in bloom online, we were looking for homes. These vines, Harry's bags were much longer. And so all of this was pretty much covered in green. It was quite beautiful. I cut it down quite a bit when we moved in and this is all new growth. It was up to here. I'm not kidding you. So, so I'm just above the top of the door and it was cut up to there and now it's grown so much. So it makes me wonder the new fringe cut that he received. Yeah, it looks like he's already growing because there's already a stagger of uh, his little hairs. Let's see how my citrus tree is doing, which is something we brought with us from Paris. I hope that's not frozen over. Oh, wow. Oh. I think. Look at that. There's some buds coming in. Mm. Muster up for some work in the salon. My hands are cold. I'm looking forward to demolishing this kitchen. It's just a matter of finding the right grit. The wall is very soft, so I want to use a light one. I think the lightest I have is maybe a 240 might work. Wearing safety goggles. Okay. <laughs> Proper attire. <laughs> I want to point out 
something. You see these little rivets in the drywall? That's where the water damage was. And when I pressed down with my sander, it smoothed it out. So that tells me I can go up a grit on this area. So I'm currently working 240, so I'm gonna try a 180 and see if I can smooth and flatten this area out. I should work, we'll give it a shot. It looks a little better, however, I'm going to definitely need to use plaster. This wall actually needs to be refinished. We may not be able to paint this wall, actually. Look how that's just coming off, you see? This hand sander was one of the best gifts ever from my husband. Smoothing out. Still need to finish up this side and this part of the wall here. You can see the difference in color. Just shaving off that first layer of drywall. And um, yeah, just do some patch up work. And I don't know if I should sand off this bit here. I'll give it a shot. Okay, I smoothed out the wall as much as possible. It looks pretty good. Let me back up here a little bit. It is very, very dusty in here. My arms were feeling very much like jello and I was feeling kind of nauseous from using the sander. Very strange sensation. vacuuming and look at the state of this wood as I was vacuuming pieces of the wood were being sucked up it's in really bad condition and we need to figure out a solution very quickly here hmm. just need a mop up Laffy 